Hey everyone, Andrew Pika here with the LC team, and I'm here to show you how to use TrackRig with Ableton Live. It is super easy now to get your tracks from Ableton Live to your soundboard using TrackRig. It's just USB in and has eight XLR outputs. In my situation, I'm using an eight channel XLR loom that goes from TrackRig into a soundboard. And your situation might look a little different. You might be running those into a stage box. Now let me show you how to use TrackRig in Ableton Live. In Ableton Live, you're gonna to go to your Preferences menu. In the Preferences, make sure you're on the Audio tab, and you're gonna see Audio Output Device. From that drop-down menu, select Loop Community TrackRig. Now you need to make sure that all the outputs are enabled by hitting this button right here, Output Configuration. When all of these are yellow, that means that they're all enabled. Click OK and exit out of that menu. Now, in your session, you get the ability to send each track out a different output of your choice. This is great because now you can send every track separately to the soundboard so that the sound person has more control over each instrument. So let me show you how to do that. I'm going to take my click track and I'm going to choose this drop down menu right here. I'm going to say I'm going to send it out, external out, and then from the drop down menu below it, I get to choose which output I want to send it out. In this case, I'm going to choose output one. Now I can do that for every single track and choose which output I want to send it out. So I did that from click all the way to my piano here, which I'm sending out output eight. Now, when I play my track, you'll see that Drums. signal is coming in Ableton Five, and it's being sent out each Intro. output. And I can Four, verify five, this six. by looking at track rig itself and looking at the LEDs on the front. So there you have it. It's that easy to use. If you want to learn more, check out trackrig.com.